What is going on fam? Today I'm bringing you guys to today's episode Puddles! Puddles is what I named this car because when you start it, whatever you park it, it leaves puddles behind I know, I know, it leaves a mess on the floor and everything but I'm gonna show you guys something very interesting You guys can see here on this oil pan, it's too bright Right here, this is a broken bolt, broken bolt, another broken bolt right here and another broken bolt there's a multiple broken bolts in here so a couple more over here on the top of the block so this is a oil leaks are common on bmw's oil pens but this was abnormal the car was leaking so much that it just left puddles literally puddles on the floor so when we lifted to inspect it we saw all of those broken bolts Maybe somebody else replaced it before and they over torqued the bolts. Those are aluminum bolts, one use only. So maybe they didn't get replaced or something, but they broke. And as I was taking out by hand, they were breaking still, the ones that were already in there. So now we have a journey to go through with this vehicle to take those bolts out of the block. So just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, whoever works in your vehicle makes a big difference. It can make things easier or it can damage things. So it's uh, very important to keep that in mind and into consideration. Let's get this baby fixed. So what we're doing here is we're punching a hole in the center of the bolt. So when we start drilling, we can uh, start drilling from the center of the bolt. We're gonna be using a reverse thread bolt so we can uh, drill the bolt out. So we're gonna do this same procedure to all of the bolts so they can, uh, we start drilling again from the center and taking the bolts out. That's the plan. So safety is a thing, right? Because uh, we needed eye shades, but my boy outdid me. <laughs> <laughs> Shade, protection, safety. This is how we do it. <laughs> Good. So this one is not coming out guys, it's not good, we already took one out, but this one is not cooperating. It's drilling through. This is guys, getting it done with style, alright? So we're placing an extractor because uh, plan A did not work, the drill didn't work, it almost drilled through the whole bolt, whatever is left of it, so now we're gonna have to find another way to extract it. This is the ideal way of doing it, you kind of drill through it and then it comes out, we got one that cooperated. We're using this uh, reverse drill bit, which it works in a rever reversed way. You bite into the bolt. Guys, don't try this at home. I must to be doing this at home and you're not experienced, you could run into a lot of trouble. So make sure you don't try this at home. Seriously, I'm not playing. Don't try this. Easy, easy peasy. So unfortunately, they're not. Okay. See? So here we go. Second one out. We got a couple more to go. Daniel is going to attempt. Is it coming? Yeah, it's coming. Kind of, sort of. Most of it's sliding off. There it goes. So patience is a key when doing a job like this. And eye safety. Eye safety and patience. Eye safety and patience big important you can't work without your eyes and you can't work without patience this job teaches a lot of that <laughs> 
That's how we do it. That's it? That's it. So this is plan A. Okay, it should come out just like that. If it doesn't, we go to plan B, which you guys saw the procedure, which is tapping the remover in there and taking it out. And so here is the collection of the bolts. So here are our broken bolts. Broken, drilled out. Everything else, this one snapped while we were removing the bolt, so it was in there already. So the, here they are, so every time you do this job, you have to replace it, those bolts with new bolts. Okay? New bolts, new gaskets, new seal, one use only. And they have to be torqued in a certain sequence, in and a certain torque. Specification, so they don't break, so this doesn't happen anymore. So now the next step is uh, cleaning out the oil pan, cleaning out the surface, and then we're gonna put it all back together. All right guys, so we are also replacing the seal for the oil level sensor. These cars don't have a dipstick, so this uh, sensor right here, it's your oil level right here. The way it works is it warms up, and then when it's hot, it measures like the heat and the temperature level of the oil, and according to the temperature that's different, outside of the sensor it measures your oil level and then there's an o-ring that goes in there which is this guy right here so we're gonna be replacing that also while we're at alright fellas so here's the oil pan o-ring replaced already so here's the oil pan and the gasket we gotta put this back on the car so what we're going to do is so this stays all lined up and we don't struggle with it this is a pro tip I'm going to give you guys. Put a zip tie on this corner. And put a zip tie on this corner. That way you put it on there. Put a couple bolts in so it holds it and cut the zip ties. And you're on your way to go. Hey guys, so if you can see here, that's the zip tie. Put a bolt in there. Put a bolt in here. There's another white zip tie over there. So it holds the gasket in place. It was very simple. You kind of just waver around the subframe. Everything is loose. It's just like hanging. And you can move it around. You put it in there. Your gasket stays in place. And now we'll just use some uh, dikes to cut that off. Comes out. Now we will finish putting our bolt, bolt in there and then we'll tighten it down to the specific torque. Guys, so this is what I'm using. This is a torque wrench. We are going to do this in newt meter like most uh, German European cars go by. And we're going to use this flexible 10 millimeter which it fits just fine. So the bolts are uh, E12. If you, this can focus enough, you can see the splines there. This right here is called uh, Torx, inverted Torx, and the 10 millimeter fits perfectly around it. So if you don't have a flex inverted Torx and you, you have a flex 10, it will work just fine. That's what I used to take it off and that's what we're using to put it on. It is not a matter of stripping because we're not really torquing it that much. It only takes 8 newton meters plus 90 degrees after you finish torquing everything to 10 new so okay everybody car is finished we ran it everything is back together and we're just gonna leave it on the lift overnight just to make sure that it's not leaking we'll obviously be able to see on those clean floors if the car is leaking or not and it should be all good all done with it puddles rips because it's not puddles anymore have a good night everybody and a blessed day